So yeah, I've come back today to talk to you about um, the fact that you've had to now finish work to care yes, full time for John. Right. Yep, yeah, yeah. So I wanted to catch up with you today just to talk to you about some of the financial support that might be available oh, okay. to you Great. that you might not be aware of or you yeah. might be. No, um, I don't. But are you happy for me to go through it? And yes, if you yeah? want. Yeah. Okay. So there is a payment from Centrelink, which is a carer payment and okay. or a carer allowance. Now you yes. might the payment is a full time pension. Um, which you may or may not be eligible for depending on your financial circumstances. Mm -hmm. But the allowance you will definitely be eligible because it's the government's acknowledgement just that you're doing a, a carer role and it's only a small amount per fortnight yes. but it helps towards um, yes, some things. Yes. Yes. Um, so this is a form that we can complete. We also need a doctor to complete a medical report um, and then we hand that into Centrelink. Okay. okay. Yes. The other things I just want to draw your attention to, and I don't want to overwhelm you with too right. much information, no. so if you've got any questions later on, feel free to call me or come and see me. Um, but this is an application form for Victorian Carer Card, which gives you some discounts and so forth um, across the state just by having the card. Oh, it doesn't see. cost anything, it's just a handy little thing to have. Mm -hmm. The other one I wanted to draw your attention to is the companion card. Now, if you're going somewhere with John, and he needs you to go with him, yeah. you may receive your entry fee for free. Oh, I see. So have a look at that. Again, any questions, just get back to me. I know it's a lot of information, yes, but... Yes, uh, I didn't um, realise that. Yeah, there's certainly things that are available to you. So the other thing I wanted to tell you about was the financial counselling service that right. visits the region on a regular basis. If you're having to rearrange your finances or look at your budget differently, or there's companies that you need some repayments negotiated with, oh, okay. the service is free and um, operated by a professional financial counsellor and they can help you sort all those things out. So if down the track or very shortly that's something you'd like to do, you can let me know and I can make a referral to them and oh, they'll get in touch with you. That's good to know, Sam. Yeah. Now we're going to Melbourne quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that can help us there? So you're going to Melbourne to see the specialist That's and visit right. the hospital? That's yeah. Right. This program here is the Victorian Patient Transport Assistance Scheme. You'll hear people refer to it as VIPTAS. Yes. Um, yes. It's a scheme for rural Victorians who need to travel 100 kilometres or more in one direction to mm -hmm. receive medical treatment that's not available in their hometown. So this is the form. The only way to claim it is to complete this form. Okay. You have 12 months to claim. Right. There's a travel diary in there that you can fill awesome. out. Um, the patient's details. And the next time you're in Melbourne, just get the specialist that you're seeing to fill out his or her section and sign that off. And there'll be some reimbursement of your costs for oh, travelling. Okay. Right.